Listening to the Prime Minister there, it is clear that the government are going to do more to help people through the cost of living crisis. That's welcome news, isn't it? It's welcome news, but we need to see it now. We need an emergency budget. You know, there's no point in going on to the television and, and talking about what's coming because we need to know and it needs to be in the Houses of Parliament where we can discuss it properly and debate it. And, and uh, you know, we need to move now. And just looking to the debate that you're leading on behalf of the public, really, yeah. you open it this afternoon. Um, this is what the public want public who have signed this petition, the government should reduce the cost of fuel through a reduction of 40% in fuel duty and VAT for two years. Is any party going to do that? What I'd like to see this afternoon, and I, I, I'm presenting this on behalf of the petitioners, and it's a real, it's been very, very hard... Well, breaking my heart, really, to see what has happened and with the situation that people are in with fuel poverty and the cost of living crisis. The government has responded in writing to this petition and it does appreciate that there is a problem and that we do need to move forward. But the government isn't moving forward at the moment and that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon is expressing the views of many because there was also a survey that went alongside mm. the petition. And I spoke to the petitioner, Michael, uh, as well, and he was really interesting because he came at it from This is a angles. member of the public who started this that's position, right. Cole Michael, yeah, and yeah. you spoke to him. Spoke to him on the phone on the phone and he was very interesting because he comes at it as a single dad right. and he comes at it as a business owner as well so he is really hit by the the, the fuel prices going up